Serious, Redditors who found a secret passage, tunnel, or room. What's your story? I work in real estate and was visiting a large block of land that a developer was going to develop 40 townhomes on. We're walking around chatting about what will go where etc. And I ask him if he's demolishing the house on the front corner of the lot. He then got super excited and took us up to visit it. We walk in, first thing we see is shaggy yellow carpet not only in every room of the house, but also on the walls and the ceiling. We walk around the kitchen, with a bar and pool table in the center of it, and then see an old 1960s looking fridge in the dining room. Didn't think anything of it, considering how weird the place was already. But the developer opened the fridge door and IT was a secret staircase going down to an underground basement. The basement had the craziest sound system and disco balls and a moth earthken stage. There was a large canvas painting down there too and the developer took it off the wall and there was an escape tunnel out to the back of the block. Apparently the past owner was a super successful lawyer back in the 1970s who took on a lot of drug cases. Well now I know what I want in my first house. I found a room in the back of a closet at my parents house when I was a kid. It was essentially a kid sized hole cut and drywall that led to a small room under the stairs leading to the basement. None of us had known it was there. The room was all concrete, with some 2x4s stretching across the ceiling and others acting as supporting beams for the stairs, I'm assuming. Totally empty, but it was covered in graffiti from the previous owners, and that's how I learned about curse words. There was a teeny coralline like door in my bedroom closet that was hidden when the regular door was opened and against the wall. It led to a finished attic room that I'd hide in to scare my parents. I didn't mention the room's existence until we had lived there for a couple years and then they stole it for storage space. Typical parents, stealing cool hidden rooms for dang storage. We found a secret room in my aunt's house, behind the kitchen cabinets when they were being swapped out. It was this walled off area between the unexpectedly wide chimney and the outside wall. Big enough for maybe 3 adults to stand in somewhat uncomfortably. The weirdest part is that it was all painted red. Floor. Ceiling. Walls. Everything. Yeah. Painted. After a decade of working for a poorly managed embroidery company, my mother offered to buy out the owners and take over. They said no, so she quit and opened up her own shop in a smallish mall in our town. The building was pretty old over the years had seen Bucinese's and owners come and go. Each store had a small door at the back that had access to a service corridor. It didn't get much use since it only really gave access to the plumbing and electrical. But those of us kids whose parents owned and operated shops would play in it frequently. We thought we were pretty clever being able to randomly appear at different parts of the mall like magic. One day, we came across a panel that looked like it didn't quite fit right. We pushed on it, and found a small room that had apparently been used as storage, but had been sealed off for no reason. We showed our parents, and the landlord. The landlord was cool enough to have it cleaned up, put a sofa, a small refrigerator and a TV in it. It became the de facto kid hangout for those of us in the mall. Eventually my mother moved to another office location, but it was fun for a bit. Landlord was a cool dude. The landing on the staircase going upstairs was hinged. If you opened it you could drop into the area below the staircase. From there you could open a door in the wall which leads down into the basement. In theory you could act as if you were going upstairs from the main floor and go though the above. Get into the basement and escape the house from the basement door. One of the tractor drivers in the farm whilst plowing fell into a hole. Suddenly appeared beneath one of the tires. Turned out it was a series of tunnels dug by a Canadian tunneling company, as an army unit, practicing here in England for the invasion of Germany. A whole network of tunnels hidden beneath us all kept secret. Sorry. I was going to spend the night with a friend whose mother was a real estate agent. Before we went to his place we had to go to this old Victorian house his mother was going to show the next day and she wanted to do a few things while there. My friend and I went exploring and found a secret servants hallway that was tucked behind the interior walls. There was only one door that led to the attic area where the servants quarters were at. I remember seeing where a bell assortment hung that went to each room of the house. It was long gone, but the stained glass was still there. I love that secret room and plan on making one if I ever build a house. 
About 18 months ago my dad purchased a house that was a church in a past life. At some point the church closed and the pastor continued living there for several years as he remodeled the church into a house which eventually bankrupted him and ended with the home going into foreclosure. Almost every room in the house on the main floor has an exterior door, and there are a couple different staircases that led to the basement. Several months after purchasing the house while going up the stairs from the basement into the attached garage my dad noticed a weird carpeted shelf off to the side of the stairs. Looking more closely he realized there was a handle, which when lifted up revealed a hidden door that goes to another small staircase down. Once down the hidden stairs he realized there was a hidden 8 foot by 10 foot secret room with all concrete brick walls. The room is nearly soundproof and you really wouldn't notice it unless you were looking very closely. He jokes that he is going to use it as a storage space for all of his food, water, and weapons for the apocalypse. Makes me wonder what the church used the room for though. My freshman year at my university I got stupid drunk, 2013, and decided to go into this cafeteria that had been closed for a year at that point. It had just a thin metal gate preventing anyone from entering. Well I pulled on it a little and it snapped, allowing entrance. It was cool being in this cafeteria that nobody had been it, but it got better. I found how to get into the basement. This basement led to a corridor that I later found out is 1.5 miles of underground tunnels. I did some exploring but a lot of it was flooded and just smelt of decay and rot. Found some coke bottles from the 1950s. After I did some research on the history I found out I stumbled into the condemned tunnels of the university that was used to transport things between buildings. A hurricane had rolled through in the 80s and flooded a large portion of the tunnels and damaged it. The university decided it was easier to just not use them than to repair them. Pretty cool thinking I was probably one of the only people to step foot in there within the past 30ish years. I moved into a house with my friend. Was an old Victorian house complete with a basement. I'm in the UK. Went down to put some furniture there and checked it out. Two carpeted rooms with old junk in it and then some bricks on the floor from the wall. Look at the wall and there's a hole in there. Just big enough for me to fit through at a squeeze. Dirt sloped down into a huge high ceiling room. Complete with a shelf with a sleeping bag and duvet on. The room had been soundproofed. Had electricity and water in it. With a huge closed off fireplace. Floor to ceiling in it. Only way in and out of the room was the hole I crawled through. Didn't freak me out too much. Figured I was underneath next door's house. But the duvet bothered me. Lived there for a year with no problems though. Not really a secret secret, but we have a hidden room in our house. If you open the closet door in my office, there is another door on the back wall that leads to a room. It was going to be our spy headquarters but now it just holds boxes. I'm kinda upset that it's not a spy headquarters. When I was in high school my dad purchased this old Victorian that he intended to flip. Before he got around to working on it, he let me hang out there with friends. It seemed pretty cool until the first, and only, night we decided to spend a night. We set up an old TV, DVD player, and basically made the whole empty living room a big lounge sleeping area with bean bags and blankets. It was getting pretty late when we started to hear noises coming from upstairs. It sounded like scratching and rustling. Nothing too freaky, probably mice or something. Well, anyways, one of the guys that was over decided we should go investigate. We head up the stairs and used our phones for light as none of the fixtures upstairs had light bulbs. We're walking through the hall, getting closer and closer to the noise. We get to the huge built-in bookshelf at the end of the hall and the noise somehow seems to be coming from behind it. My friend starts knocking on the wall around it to see if it stirs up any more noise. We're still assuming some kind of animal or something. He starts monkeying with the shelf and he manages to pull the entire thing towards us and it ends up being a freaking door to a hidden room. Of course we were giddy, cause this is some crap you only read about or see in movies. We shine our phones into the room and it's straight out of a horror film. Filth everywhere, super old looking kids toys, spider webs up the yin yang and the creepiest part of all, super deep scratches on the back of the bookshelf from fingernails. You could even see the dirty handprints that went along with them. It was the thing of nightmares and we got the heck out of there quick. Definitely one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Ask him about it and see if he learned anything about it he didn't want to tell you as a kid. I went to a military school in New Mexico that had been around for a really long time. 
The place looks like an old fort. Anyway, senior year we are messing around in the sally port. Wrestling. Shoving. Whatever. Just being idiots. One of us slams into a green door and it pops open. In the four years I had been there, I had never really thought about those doors, nor had I seen anyone use them. The door opened to a spiral, metal staircase that went down into the darkness. Cobwebs abound. Long story short, it was a creepy, musty, old storage area. I don't remember if the catacombs went the whole perimeter of the barracks or what, but I know we explored pretty fully, found some old furniture, some clothing bedding, and some other dated items. Most likely just things various cadets had left behind in their room. I think I took an expired fire extinguisher that was in some forgotten corner of the area. I used to live in downtown Greenville. TX in the 1990s. Greenville used to be a thriving cotton town in the 1950s. But the population has declined and downtown is mostly abandoned. My friends and I used to explore the abandoned buildings for fun before urban exploring became a thing. Anyway, there was a multi-story building that used to have a Mexican restaurant downstairs in the 1970s, but it had been abandoned since then. The bottom of that building was locked up tight, but we were able to gain access to the roof from a neighboring building, and finally got inside that building that way. Inside were some old offices, nothing much of interest there, but then I noticed a crack in the wall behind some peeling wallpaper. There was a door-sized sliding panel that had been papered over decades before. Behind it was an apartment that would have been used as housing by the people who owned the business downstairs, and it was largely untouched. I found newspapers from the 1940s and the last one was dated 1947. My husband and I bought a 100 plus year old farmhouse. It needed to be refurbished. It was the biggest undertaking that I've ever done. We peeled up the carpet to find asbestos tile. Joy. Then we peeled up the tile to find laminate. Woot. Then we peeled up the laminate to find wood floors. Holy crap. And not just a wood floor. A freaking trap door in the kitchen. I thought that was super freaking cool. It was extremely water damaged having been right next to the kitchen sink. But we pried that sucker open to find. The coal room. There's still coal down there. A few tons of it. I don't know why that hatch was there. There's no stairway leading down but we found a tiny door in the basement behind a cabinet and it also leads to the coal room. I assume back in the day they burnt coal. Eventually we plan to make it into cold storage with a stairway and I'll just be able to walk down from the hatch I rebuilt all by myself. I clean nice houses for a living and one day was in the home of a priest. He was moving out due to retirement, so his house was empty. I was just there to vacuum all the rugs. Anyway, I'm in his bedroom vacuuming and I open his closet door to get the rug in there. Since all of his clothing was gone, I noticed a small door, probably 3 featuring x3 featuring on the back wall of his closet. It had a lock on the outside so needless to say I immediately try to unlock it. It was a slide lock so it took me a minute to undo it. Finally I did, and I inched the door open a bit. I look around the corner to see what is behind this door. It was some sort of insulated tunnel which led downward. Just very large blackness with a bit of weird pink melted insulation stuff around the corners. I shut the door and locked it after only a few seconds because I thought it was super weird. The retired priest has since been replaced, so I continue to clean this home bee weekly. I'll have to look at it again and get a photo. You have been visited by the beach doggo. You shall be blessed with good weather all summer if you subscribe to Updutradit. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.